Hi, it's John. It's the 16th of June. And I just felt I had to get out for a walk. I haven't got a car today, so I felt, felt a bit claustrophobic. So I'm going out for a walk. Someone's been making big bale silage. They're the square bales. They'll be better for stacking than those round ones. We've had so many tragedies lately, national tragedies, that uh, it makes you feel, to be, feel good to be alive, just to be alive. So many people searching for loved ones at the tower block tragedy. You know, you wonder whether they're actually facing up to the fact that they're, they're not going to find them and what it's going to be like when, when, the, when the reality hits home. I think the politicians are aware that civil unrest isn't far away on quite a lot of fronts. So they've got to tread very, very carefully. I certainly don't envy the politicians and really we're in a huge mess because we haven't really got a government and we've got all these EEC negotiations to take place and then national tragedies taking place. It's all going a bit haywire. Here's what I think should happen for, for what it's worth. I think we should have a national government for Brexit negotiations, a soft Brexit which is what the Tories are going to have to do anyway, and what Labour wants. So negotiate with Labour, work together to get this, uh, get the Brexit through together as a national government. Some nice scenes out here today. I've never quite seen it like this from this angle. Obviously got the uh, grass cut there, ready for baling up into sil silage bales. Haylage they call it, don't they? Haylage. Are those cows licking their lips as they look at those, that stack of haylage? Yum yum, they say. That's our village. The cottage is on the left, and then a row of ten council houses and ex-council houses on the right. And the third one down there has got solar panels. But it's not mine. Mine's number a bit further down. That's a bale wrapper. I think. There's been a busy worm. That's a worm cast in the middle of a track. He's found some soil down there somewhere. Ah, and there's another one. I'm a bit breathless now and I can't really see in the viewfinder, but with the naked eye, that looks like a nice view down there. That's my village. Here's another one I'm having difficulty seeing, but it's got the three mid the foreground the mid ground and the far ground now that is a beautiful panorama they're putting new mains water in at the moment up to our village and beyond perhaps and they've got a little compound over there i think it's going to be for about seven weeks the uh, movie making clubs are finished for the summer now start up again in september I think I should have quite a lot of movies for them. Although I am entering a few national competitions as well, so see how we get on. First time I've seen wheat up on this field. It's a bit like a plateau, plateau this field, but the wheat looks very good. I'm trying to watch sort of uh, media studies films on YouTube. It's a fair number out there if you look like media studies, film studies, and. Um, the students seem to do quite a lot of very negative films with guns and blood and upsetting things. I don't know whether it's written into the syllabus or whether it's just what they do. I'm entering a film into a, a film festival called the Feel Good Festival and it's held by Sutton Coalfield Video Club. So they obviously don't want feel bad videos.